Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Survival Series. Today it is episode 13 and we will be working on a lovely storage system. That is right people, we'll be working on a storage system for our lovely slime farm at the back there and we'll also be working on a storage system for our mob farm. That's the plan for today's episode. As you can see, we've got a couple bits of supplies here, glass and packed ice and uh, yeah, should be a well smooth episode. <laughs> And I'm also planning to build ourselves another lovely iron farm on top of the one we've already got. That's if we have enough time. But to start things off, I thought I'd show you guys how much slime we've actually got. Yeah. We've got quite, quite a fair amount of slime in here, really. It's actually a tremendous amount. So my plan is to get rid of these chests. And have a lovely hopper line come along here. And it's going to come along out this way here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I'll figure that out shortly. But I'll get up to the surface and show you guys what we'll be working on today. Okay everyone, we're here underneath our lovely mob farm. And this is where we're going to be building our lovely sorting system. So we're going to have a lovely corner here, so we're going to be using our lovely slabs as the top layer to go around the outside. So all we do is just go around and do a double layer like this here. And this is going to be carried around all the way around here, right up to this glass block here. And it's going to be going around in a giant cube shape. And up here we can see, we can drop down and we're going to be having a lovely base go around. I'm not having it this deep anymore, and I'm going to go around, and I'm actually going to... It's going to take a little bit of time, I think. So I'm going to go around, and I'm going to have to remove the sand that I've already put in. But I want to have the big storage room to be in pretty much a giant glass box. So, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So it's going to have, like, a big glass going around and have a nice slab floor. And all the redstone is going to be hiding in and it's going to be visible from the outside. And then somewhere along here, so this goes one block around. So let's just carry that there out. So we've got something like this here, it's going to be going cubed around. And just below here, we're going to have a section. One, two, three, four, I think it was. It's going to go out and it's going to drop down i think this is where we're going to have it so when you go right down we're going to have a section so we're going to have all our slime balls pop up here and it's going to move along into the storage system and there's going to be a certain slime ball section in here so i'm going to go ahead and do the painful task of draining all this here out and i'll also place in all the glass before i start work on doing a lovely redstone bit with the help of some sponges. Shouldn't take too long, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Okay, just I haven't started doing this here yet, but I noticed the trident was throwing at me, and I didn't have the recording button because it chews up too much room on my computer, but <laughs> I got myself another trident. Another trident. I didn't expect to get a trident because I've actually killed so many drowned when building that there, and in between episodes, and that there, and I haven't got a single trident but now we have got a lovely two set of tridents so eventually one day when we're going to do an underground lysing in that there so we're going to lice up all the seed floor and pickles and get ourselves a conjurer and all that set up but yeah that's going to be another episode and we'll work on getting ourselves some better lovely trident throwing stuff so anyway i need to get back to start work on doing this here and if we get another trident i'll be happy but those are quite quite hard to get so yeah sorry to bring you guys out of that there but i'll see you guys again shortly ow you hurt me no don't you dare kill me uh, no no trident there's another trident guy so i'm going to try and go for him in a second i might do actually quite a few trident captures where are you flying from ow Oh, no, 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 no,
Okay, everyone, I've now gone around and placed in all the glass, and this place is now looking pretty cool, I'd say. But there is, oops, there is bits of glass that are down the bottom, but I will eventually, oh, let's show you over here. There's glass, but that will get tidied up in one episode when I'm going to be tidying up the base and getting it all sorted for putting the lottery island around. So that's just a little progress update. Now I'm going to go ahead and drain it, which shouldn't take too long at all. Okay everyone, the whole area is now cleared out and now it is time to start work on the lovely collection system. So what we need to do, or what I'm going to be doing, is I'm going to be having hoppers all feeding into exactly one position going along here. So they're pretty much all feeding into, oh, well they're all just facing all into one section. So that goes along like that there, and these ones here actually need to be taken down. And we want to have our hoppers facing down two levels here. So we're going to get rid of that there. And we want our hoppers to be facing one, two. We want them to be facing along, and it comes out by two more here. So if you, if, you, if you get the drift of what I'm doing, see they come along and they drop down and then they then they make their way along here into the lovely sorting system. Okay everyone, this whole area is now cleared out and it's looking pretty good. So I thought we'd start, start by fixing up all the hopper strain. So the hopper's all facing this way here now. And we've got them all facing, well, they're going to be facing along in this direction here, pointing out here. So, this is just so that the system can keep, like, it's got plenty of storage to keep up. So we go back two blocks, and then that there is looking pretty good. So now I'm going to carry, so to do this here, we're going to have to go along and line this up so that it needs to be the top of the glass, doesn't it? So go along, come round here, and top of the glass there. And let's just carry that through, and I'll be back once I get that all done. Okay, so now it's time to start work on our lovely storage system. So to do that there, we're going to have to go along and place in, let's see if I've got some more sandstone up here because it is a lot more easy to work with. Got some sandstone, yep, let's just chop that and get rid of that there. So we want to go ahead and do place in the sandstone going along here. It's just a normal traditional item sorter going along. So jump up, nice and perfect. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And all we're having is an eight system going around the back. And now we need to go ahead and place in our place for our comparators. Which is simply going to go along here. To sense the blocks that we're doing. So let's just jump up here and place in these comparators. Okay, now that we've placed in these comparators, now we need to go ahead and we need to place in our position for our lovely, what's the name called? Um, <laughs> repeaters, which are going to be going along here. So I'm going to go ahead and place in our repeaters, double up this bit here, place down our redstone torches, and I am also going to place in. Is that supposed to be maybe a maybe a bit lower? Maybe, and then place in our repeaters with our slabs on top, and dropping down like so, and placing in our redstone dust. I'll be back once I complete this lovely area. See you then. Okay, now that all that is placed into position, now it's time to go ahead and do the fun task of placing in all our double chests. So I'm just pretty much going to go ahead and do that there and I'll be back again with you guys once I've placed in all these double chests. 
going all the way along. Whoops, do not want that. It goes there like that. Nice and so. And yeah, I'll be back once I've done this. Okay, everyone, now that we've got all ourselves our lovely chest system in place, it's time to put in our hopper system. I mean, dispenser system for our lovely, lovely slime boys come up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop straight down here. Dig out this hole here. Get, get, get out. Go off. I'm sorry, this drowned. Like, I just... Go away! I don't know why I'm bad at clicking right now. But anyway... Get into swim mode, come on. Okay, what we need to do is we need to drop right down here. And since we've got water coming down, we should be fine and we shouldn't die in lava. There we go. Oh, we've got this already cleared out. So, we've got our little entrance way here. I'm just going to chuck down a couple slabs there to stop that water going up. So we need to come up with our system that's going to deliver all of our slime balls. So, this is, since this is over here, do we have a bit of sand on us? No, we do not. Okay, I'm just going to put those up. That's not what I wanted to do. Place it up like that there. Nice and simple. Come on, place down. Then I'm just going to quickly go grab some signs and some seaweed. I'll be back in a tick. I can now grab some only. Oh, go away! I needed some more kelp, but this kelp is to make this all a pretty much steady water source so we can have our bits and pieces floating up. So while I get that there sorted, let's just get into this, this waterway because I'm getting I need to hop off this game. I've been playing it for too long today. So anyway, we need a water system up and let's just chuck in our signs here. Our signs here. So we need to quickly just clear out this bit here. That can go down there. And we need to get ourselves our packed ice, which is going to be hooking up to our system over here. Sorry about the dogs barking in the background there. So I'm going to carry this here going along. And we need to create ourselves a system first that's going to dispense. So we're going to have that. I suppose we need to have it out a couple blocks. So first off, how we're going to build the system is we need to get our dispenser. Place down our dispenser. Get our comparators. And this is a simple one that people have built for quite a few years now. Our piece of redstone. Oops. Yeah, I'm, I need to get off this game. And simply go around like this here, and that there goes into a block here. This one here goes into a block. And since we've done that there, now we need to get ourselves our lovely hoppers. And those are going to go around, and I'm going to connect these into this chest system here. Eventually, that might actually turn that off, so I'm going to go along. Place this in here, and I'm going to get ourselves our water system put in, and I'll be back with you guys in a tick. Okay, okay friend, the, the spin system is now set up, but I'll just wait till we finish the storage system up top before I do any difference. First off, we need to go ahead, and we need to chuck in our soul sand. And it should create a bubble stream that will shoot us right up to the top. But I have found that balls do move around, so I am going to go ahead and chuck in a little bit of... I was going to say plastic, just... Oh! Jeez, these... Are driving me insane. 
Okay, so we need to put in ourselves our lovely little extra protection here. I suppose it could be called to stop any of the slime balls from escaping. Okay, everyone, so we've got a lovely little water stream coming along here that will push out little items going all the way to this block here. But that there is so that they'll drop straight down and they'll go into a system here. Where I want to get rid of that one there. So they'll all drop down and fill into this one here first. And if there's ever o any overflows, I believe this system goes to about here. And this is going to be the big overflow chest for any items that are overflowed at all. So this episode is nearly finished for the day. But all we need to do now is go ahead and get some item frames along here. Tell us what the blocks are, and we also need to config these so they have all the different items and blocks that can go into them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be back with you guys in a tick. Okay, now it's time to configurate this bad boy. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be having ourselves some lovely likes. What? Why did you go straight through for? You're not meant to go straight through. Okay, finally this thing should be sorted. So what I want to do is have the one rotten flesh in there. And have our lovely subscribes going along here. And also our lovely, where are they? Our lovely likes. So that is nice and simple to do this here. And that's what I'm doing is for the rest of them as well. So I'm having two sections. I don't want any kelp in there. Two sections for each of them. Two for gunpowder, two for string, and two for our lovely, lovely arrows. So, hmm, yeah, I need to probably go to bed. It's not that late, but I'm like an old man. Have to go to bed early. So, let's get our lovely subscribes there. And this was another stream one, wasn't it? Hear yeah, that lovely loud breathing there. So arrow, arrow, string. What? Oh my god. Arrow, arrow, string. String. Gunpowder, gunpowder, rotten flesh, rotten flesh. And these ones here are for our lovely slime balls. And this bit here is just going to be miscellaneous items. Ouch. So let's quickly hop down here and see if I can get our system up and running this slime. Let's see if we can, can we, can we battle the current to get down? No we cannot, okay I'll be back once I get down to the slime farm. Okay everyone I'm now down at the slime farm and it's time to activate this beast. So let's destroy this here, destroy this here and pop that down in there. Popped it down there, and we should start to see some dispens some dispensary action happening. <sighs> Let's destroy these then, and drop the entire dispenser thing and the entire thing down by one block, and then I'll be back once we've done that. See you guys in a sec. Okay everyone, the system should now be up and running with all our lovely slime balls working away here. Just need to get up here, pop down here and place in this one here. Oops. Place in this one here and that means both of our slime sides should now be disconnected. As soon as I do this, we should hear lovely dispensing. So this is all the redstone stuff going along underneath here. And if we pop round over here, we should see lovely slime balls shooting up and away into the distance. So we should. I don't really worry if there's too much loss because I'm going to quickly pop round here. 
in the system and get a whole lot of slime balls in us. Fire! How hard are they? <laughs> It's actually quite neat to see them pop up that high, but I don't really want them to lose themselves, but I think I might just keep that for now because it looks quite cool seeing lovely slime balls jump up. And then you should got my elytra on. If we hop down here, we can pop in our lovely slime balls here. And then we should see our system slowly filling up with slime balls, so I'm pretty sure it's a random sort of system. Hello, hello dolphin, do you like my little system? So this is what the place is going to be looking like, with our extra runoff through here, of any random bits, and I think this is looking, let's see if we can take off, I think this is looking pretty cool myself. We can see our slimes jumping up, our farm should be active, and next episode we will be working on Let's make it lighting up the ocean with the pickle farm. So next episode we'll be building a pickle farm, lighting up the ocean, and starting to get prepared for work on this massive island. Because I've gathered more and more resources, and yeah, in the next three, four episodes, it's going to start to look pretty cool, this island, going around here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up here and AFK for about half an hour, or longer, it depends how long and see how good this farm works down below. So yeah, that's all I've got time for today. I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode, which should be pretty good. It's exciting because we finally get stuff done. We'll be working on lighting up the ocean, building a pickle farm, which I don't have my own design for one, and just steal one off the internet. And we'll also be tidying up and removing all this ugly junk around the base, especially where the bomb farm was actually originally going to go. So yeah, just fly up and do my little outro. I hope everyone enjoyed watching it. You see the trident chuck up in the air, you said. I love, can't wait to see everyone in the next episode. So yeah, I'd love to say thanks for watching. Cue the outro.